Welcome to Seattle College's International Programs and our show, Conversations With, where we talk to people that help you understand how you, too, can be an international student in the United States and why Seattle Colleges should be your first choice. We'll talk to students and staff and agents and government folks, all kinds of people about what you can expect when you're getting ready to apply or travel here, what you'll experience while you're with us, and how it can all lead to an amazing life. Don't forget to check out the Seattle College's International Programs website at intl.seattlecolleges.edu where you can find a treasure trove of information about the school, the programs here, and best of all, fill out and submit your application. Again, that's intl.seattlecolleges.edu. Hey everybody, it's Evan Fernalovich. Welcome back to Conversations With. We are here at the Seattle Central Campus. Dun, dun, dun. And I have a very special guest because uh, this is our first guest from the country of Belize. Tell us all about yourself, where you're from in the country, what, how you got here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Jolene Moody. I'm from Belize. Um, I got here because <laughs> I was looking for a change and my sister was living out here. And so she invited me to come and try it out. So I applied to Seattle Central and got accepted. Yeah. Went in for my visa and here I am. <laughs> right. Well, everyone always asks about the visa interview. Um, I would imagine that it wasn't a very long interview. No. Yes. Um, in we, all I needed to take was the acceptance letter from the school oh, okay. here, and um, basically that was it. That was it. They didn't even ask you questions. They asked me where um, the the school I was going to be attending, mm -hmm. but basically just questions on the school itself. Oh. And because I am a career student, uh -huh. <laughs> so um, they did mention it because in my country I am a nurse. Okay. As a career. Yeah, yeah. So they did ask me if I was still in nursing, and so I don't know if that played a role in, you know. Hmm. But, yeah, so it was not, my interview for sure was not difficult. Okay. Yeah. Wow, interesting. So. And how long did it take from the time you got your I-20 to the time you got your interview? Was it a long time, or is um, it pretty short in Belize? In Belize, it was short because, um, we don't have a lot of people going into the immigration, um, to the embassy there for right. interviews. So I think that's the reason it's short. Because I've spoken with other international students and they're telling me like it's like six months. Right. And yeah, but for us, we don't have that like long, long wait. Yeah. Right, right. So. Are there many, I, I, I don't know, uh, you're the only student I think we have from Belize. Yes. Do, have you met many other people in the community from Belize? None. None. <laughs> so, I, I, so. Am, I am looking. There is a Caribbean fear oh. coming up on the 13th of this month. Oh, very cool. So they should have people from the Caribbean. For sure. I'm going because I'm hoping to find some family beside mine yeah. from Belize here. So I'm looking forward to that. So where is that fair going to be? It will be at Pier 62. Okay. Downtown here. Yeah. And what's the date again? The 13th of August. There we go. There's our plug. The 13th of August. <laughs> yes. Uh, unfortunately, this probably will air after the <laughs> fair happened. Yeah. Good for me to know. Wow. But one of the things that's nice if you're out there listening, even though the fair will have already passed, it's good to know that these kinds of things happen yeah. a lot in Seattle. Yeah. Do you get out to these events, these kinds of things very often? Um, I was invited to, I think they had this music fair um, like a couple weeks ago. They had a Brazil. Yeah, unfortunately thing. I could not go. So I'm looking mm. forward to go to this one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think they just started doing all these activities now that it's summer. Could be. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, I'm. If I don't make it, I'll be anxious to hear what you experience. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's, I you know when you walk around Seattle, it's such a diverse community. It is. I can't tell where are they Americans? Are they from out of the country? 
you know, I don't know where they're from. I mean, they could be from anywhere. Yeah, it is, you know, and, and I think that's, that's wonderful because you get to meet like different people. You get to meet, experience different cultures. For sure. And, also, and especially coming here mm-hmm. because I work in the gym. Yes. And over there we have people from Vietnam, we have from oh. China, we have from Russia, wow. Moscow. So, you know, so um, it's a it's a community. For sure. <laughs> it's a community. So it has been great. And even when I was at the bookstore, remember I told you I was working at the yeah, bookstore Yeah, yeah, you well. were at North there. Yeah, I was at North College. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, and I met, like, different people. Wow. So it was great. So, you, so you're a central student, but yeah. you worked at North. Yes. I think that's important for our listeners to hear. <laughs> so if you're already a student here or you're listening and coming and thinking about getting work while you're here. Yeah, you, you're you not, and I think that's a good thing. You're not like obligated to just um, get find work at this campus. Right. And you know, um, international office, my advisor had told me that I can have jobs at Seattle Central, at North or at South Campus. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. great. So that's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was easy to find work? <sighs> <laughs> um, I think since COVID, before COVID, I understood that you could have just gone in and get a paper and do the application. Now it's different. Everything is online. Oh, okay. So yeah, you need to sense. apply online. But for me, it took a while. I was, I had applied three times to oh, the MAC. Okay. Before on the fourth time, I got. Accepted. That's where you really want to work. <laughs> well, I, I, I was looking for something to do. Uh-huh. But I was applying and, you know, so you still need to go in person there and just present yourself, let them know, hey, I, I'm interested in getting a job, doing something, mm-hmm. and be persistent in applying. All right, Don't right. give up the first time. Cool. Yeah, continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that's great. So um, I we talked a little bit about you working at the MAC, which yeah. is, what's MAC stand for, just for our listeners? Uh, Mitchell Activity Center is yeah. our school's gym. Mm-hmm. So um, over there, they offer basketball, volleyball. Um, we have a weight room. Beautiful weight room, I think. Yes, there's a game room. Mm-hmm. Where it has pool table and um, ping pong. Right. There's And there's a squash court as well. I forgot about that. It's true. <laughs> yeah, so there is squash. And there's a running track. The indoor track's so yeah, cool because it rains in Seattle from time yeah. to time, and it's nice to have a place to go. Yes. So all students of Seattle Central are, as long as the tuition is paid in full, is automatically covered. Oh, so they just fee. walk in and so use it. So they just walk in and present their student ID, <laughs> cool. and they have access to the gym. If uh-huh. they're not full-time student, they can pay a fee at the cashier's office. Um, the fee is thirty-five dollars. Oh, it's cheap. And they have access to the gym for the quarter. Right, right. Well, I've looked around at the gyms because I was thinking, well, I got to work downtown. Maybe I'll join a gym while I'm down there. But they're all like a hundred, hundred and fifty. Yeah, they're expensive. expensive yeah. So that's a really, yeah, really so great deal. And I mean, it's not twenty-four hours, but it's from it's from ten, from eleven o'clock until five p.m. Right. Monday to Thursday. So. What about the weekend? No weekends. Unfortunately, no. Okay. They do offer rentals. Oh, really? To, okay. um, different clubs to do basketball and right. football, but not for students. Right? Okay. Now, we have great gyms at I mean, the gym at South. Have you seen that gym? I've not been there, but I've, I've heard of it, and there's one at North Beautiful. as well. Yeah. The North gym is really great, yeah, too. There's one at North, yeah. Yeah, they've got an indoor track as well. Okay. It's really nice. Yeah. But South's like brand new. It's just beautiful. Oh, All the equipment. I've not been to that compass. Yeah, go check it out. <laughs> Actually, it's a, it's, a bit, it's a nice bus ride. It's a bit farther. It's a little further out, yeah, for sure. A, yeah. But you can get, like, you take the 125 from downtown. The, the transportation here is awesome. Yes, <laughs> I, it's true. I've had, you know, I, there's no need for me to have, like, my personal mode of transportation right. because you have the light rail and you have the bus system and it's you you just need your orca card right and you're good to go and we've actually run into each other yeah, on, on the bus because yes, we ride the same yeah. <laughs> yeah. we actually live not too far from each other that's, yeah. that's funny um so you uh so how many students do you estimate come in on your shift and right just so our listeners get an idea of how busy the gym is Okay, well, right now it's summer, so it's, oh, there's true. not a lot of students accessing the gym. 
but on in the regular quarter we have maybe like 35 students no that doesn't seem like a lot what it's not it's a good amount because it's it's more um you see more students at the ending of the day mostly right when their classes are finished yeah because of classes we do have some that as the gym opens they're in there ah okay (laughs) but the um but and we do have students that goes in in between classes as well right so maybe it's like 35 to 40 per day that's okay yeah yeah. yeah, well you then you don't have to wait to get on like an elliptical trainer no 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 no, no. you can get right on that's really great yeah um do you get to use the gym yourself? Yes. When you're, we uh, have access to the gym. So students that work in the Mac, we have access yeah. to the gym ourselves. Well, you're students, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so if you're already a nurse, what are you studying here? What are you doing? Oh, well, that's what program a, are you in? That, I don't have a specific program. When I first came here, mm-hmm. I had um, was looking for a change. I'm in healthcare, so I was looking to do healthcare in IT. Mm. You know, go in that direction in IT. Okay. However, I'm not good with computers and all that. So uh-huh. I was like skeptical, but I came to give it a shot. When I got here, um, it was not for me. Fortunately, it's easy to change room. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm just doing pre-med because I, huh. I'm taking subjects because eventually, or hopefully next year sometime, I can start my master's in clinical nursing. Yeah, so... And do you know where you'll want to do that? Um, I can do some classes here at Central, but eventually I need to make a transfer to UW. Oh, yeah, and to UW. Yeah, the school is not hard to transfer from Central to UW. You just basically need to apply, and they do offer like subjects, transitional subjects to get into UW. So, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you do have to apply, though, right? You do have to apply. And get accepted, yes. um, but it's pretty... Yeah pretty good chance and I think with the help of advisors um, you know you can it smooths smooths out all those details and when you say UW you know we have three campuses are you talking about the one right here yes okay yeah yeah the one right downtown downtown campus campus. Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, because the other campuses are pretty nice too and we have um, with the Bothell campus and the Tacoma campus we have tag agreements which are transfer admission guarantees mm-hmm. um, but I don't think we have a tag with the Is downtown it? campus okay. I'm not really sure well, well I'm not sure because I've, I'm not sure I've spoken with several students that use the gym mm-hmm. who got accepted and are transferring there this mm-hmm. year cool to UW, this central campus mm-hmm. so I'm not sure yeah yeah I think that is the number one university that we send students to. Most yeah. people want to transfer there. I mean, yeah. it's a great university. It's a great university. Campus okay. is very big. I've been there. Oh, yeah, it is. There's so much. <laughs> There's so much. I mean, yeah. Seattle, Seattle Central is tiny compared yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah. That's really... Yeah. We're, we're an urban downtown school, which is yeah. a little different. And what is what is interesting about Seattle Central, because, um, because I'm in healthcare... Sure, yeah. I found out when I got here that you guys have two campuses for Central Campus. That's true. There's this one uh-huh. on Broadway, and there's the Allied Health Campus as well. That's great. <laughs> so, We've never talked about that yeah, in this so show. There, there's two campuses yes. for Seattle Central. So if you want to do anything with nurses, CNA, um, I think radiology, pharmacy, radio, yeah, whatever. it's not this campus. It's no, the it's down Health. the street. Yeah, it's, it's not too far it's away. It's not too far, but yeah, it's... Yeah, you'll see all the kids and scrubs <laughs> yeah. going down to that building. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So, because I um I think I will have classes there this fall because I'm oh, doing you will. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing sense. the CNA program. Okay. So I will be still in Central, but the Allied Health. But that program. seems backwards. I mean, CNA oh, is at a level below an is, RN, right? It is, but because I'm coming as a foreign nurse. Uh huh. I, I need to um, have all my documents from back home authenticated here. I so see. in the meantime, mm-hmm. to be within the system, that's right. why I'm going that route. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, just to stay in healthcare because I love healthcare. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, we have, I mean, the University of Washington is an excellent healthcare institution. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, that's a really good place to be if you're interested in help. Yeah, I've applied to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, some of the, uh, if you're listening and you're interested in healthcare kinds of jobs, um, sometimes they can be tricky. Mm -hmm. um, like sometimes they're, there are programs, like for instance, our nursing program, if you want to do the two year ADN yeah. that you can, you do a year of prerequisites and then you got to do a couple of years of Clinical. the nursing stuff. Yeah. But the problem is it's, um, I mean, it's not a problem. It's just tricky. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't apply for it until after you're finished with the prerequisites. Yeah. But in order to keep your status, your visa status, yeah. you have to have so many hours. So it's like you do your three quarters of prerequisites and then you use your vacation quarter to apply. I hope you get in. Yeah. And if you don't get in because it is competitive, well, it's not really competitive. It's on a lottery system. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get in, then you can pivot and do a two plus two and then transfer to like the University of Washington or, or something. Or you can do that. Or if you come, but if you come with, um, like if you come with the prerequisite already finished, mm. then you don't need right. to do that. You know? That's so, true. Yeah. Then you can just apply to get in the program, but you will have to, you will need to submit those and get it authenticated. Right, right, right. There is a, it is done here. At the admissions office? Yes, at the yeah. admissions mm -hmm. office, they do that. So mm -hmm. you can do that as well. Yeah, so when you do your application, make sure you upload yeah, everything your, you have. Yes. They'll take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, they, you don't have to have the official documents for purposes of them looking at it yeah. and giving it an initial list, you know, an initial. Mm -hmm. But in order to get an official, you'll have to at some point provide yeah. those documents. Yeah, and there's an, I mean, it's easier now because they allow you to have your university email it. Oh, nice. Yeah, so once upon a time, I think you need to have it mail. Right. Now they they, they take um, it through emails from the university so right, right, right. to here. Yeah. So um, I want to be delicate about this next question. Okay. <laughs> but... You are not the typical age of no. someone who's just starting. Most of our international students and domestic students, for that matter, are usually just coming out of high school, 18, 19, 20 years old. I'm not going to ask you how old you are, <laughs> but what's your experience been as an older student? Has it been, uh, I, I mean, do you hang out with these younger students? Um, I do, well, not hang out outside of school. Okay. For sure, but I do have students that I talk to, yeah. you know, and it's it's nice because, like I said, I'm come I come from Belize, so it's yes, we do have people living there that's not Belizean, mm -hmm. but here it's more variety. Mm. So um, getting to know them, getting to know their culture, and you know, belief system. Has been fun. Yeah. Has been fun. Yeah. Well, I was a non-traditional student at a community college like this. Uh, when I went first started, I had already had my first child. Well, my wife had it. But we had our first child already. We were coming out of the military. So most people were starting when they were just coming out of high school. But I had already been out there. Yeah, because I've done so. high school a long time ago. Right, a long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's... Um, and. I think that helps in a way because some of the students, they do come to me like for advice because right. I'm older and I've been in the system before. Yeah. So they're like, oh, you know, do you think I should do like, so it's, it's been good. I think <laughs> it's great. Yeah. yeah. I liked being a little bit older than everybody else. Yeah. Felt a little more focused. Yeah. You know, I'd already done my crazy stuff yeah. when I was younger. And so grounds them a little bit, helps little those bit. younger yes. people. That's yeah. cool. Well, um, what do you do? Now, you have family in town, I you said. I have family here. So you all must live together? Is that true? Yes, so do. for housing, that's what you're doing? Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. living with my sister. She she was here before, so, so mm -hmm. she has a job here before. And so my family and I are living with her. Right, right. So uh, I think that makes it easier in a way because I don't need to pay for housing. So nice. Yeah. So that... that that's is a big really, chunk. <laughs> that's a right. big chunk, mm -hmm. you know. So that's been good, but yeah, it, it makes it it helps. Right. But um, they they have the apartments right across the street from. They here. do, yeah. So and um, in my community where I live, 
because I live in the shoreline area. Mm -hmm. And in their Facebook, I see they have families that host students. That's right. As well. So I think that's uh, maybe that is cheaper than the apartments here. I'm um, not sure. How maybe it goes. a little bit slightly cheaper, maybe. Um, but the nice thing about if you get a host, uh, they host call them. Um, and they call them host families. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, I think they call them host families. Mm -hmm. um, there's some agencies that'll help you that help you find an American family to live with. So you're getting a cultural experience. Yeah. If English isn't your first language, mm -hmm. you're getting that linguistic, and they feed you. Yeah, you know? and they take you out because I yeah. was in class with um, a couple students that were with host families. Right, and so they said. Um, the different holidays that you guys have, sure. Thanksgiving and all that. Yeah. So the family includes them. And so cool. If they're traveling, they travel with them, take them around the, the city. So that's right. You know, you get a first hand like, sure. experience of going yeah. around. But I do want to caution our <laughs> listeners. It doesn't guarantee that your family will be like that. No, it's not a guarantee. <laughs> but a lot of the families are like that. Yeah. They they host students because they are interested themselves yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression <laughs> you could be with a family that kind of leaves you alone and they give you a room and you do your thing or whatever but I, most of the stories I hear are like what yeah, you're well, those describing. are the stories that I've been hearing right uh, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure not all the families is like that probably not but I would think quite a few I mean, are. so far so far being here I've met really nice people yeah. I must say so <laughs> what were you worried most about before you came to the United well, States? Have you seen the news? <laughs> I know, right? It makes I, this place look crazy. I, yeah, so I was, when I was coming to live here, because there's always on the news, you know, the violence up against black people, and, you know, I'm black, you see that? Sure, yeah. So I was like, and prejudice being shown to us. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but since I've been here, and I've been here almost a year, I have not experienced it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So uh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. No, pretty of course, no. <laughs> but yeah, it, everyone has been nice. Even my class, like the classes that I've taken, all the students in my classes have been awesome. The, the teachers have been great. Cool. And, and um, I I did a class in North, Co North Campus. So I've had classes here in Central. I've had classes in, That's I had a, one class in North. And um, I was with this teacher, Jenny Mo. I'm uh -huh. not sure if you know her. She um, She's a counselor, PhD in psychology. Mm. But we were doing this class um, to help you f figure out your career that you want to do. Like if you're not sure of what you want to do exactly, mm -hmm. you know, you take the class and, you know, there's different tests that you take and oh, she yeah. guides you. Yeah. So it's a career um, exploration, exploration class. Of. So. So Jenny has been awesome. <laughs> that's really great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and and that's one of the other things because being at um, these the colleges, Seattle, you don't necessarily only need to take classes at the campus that you're registered to. That's true. You can take classes in North. You can mm. take classes in South. If if there's a why I took class in North because I wanted an in person class. Right, right, so, which is great. So, and here at that time, they only had the online. Yeah, we're so, still transitioning a little bit yeah, out. But. So, um, yeah, so that's an option. <laughs> I know if you do that, you have to be a little careful because the registrar, I think I'm using the word right, the cashier mm -hmm. will want to charge you the insurance at both campuses, no, right? No, they, oh, they don't. They, 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 you um, have to tell them, right? Yeah, what what your advisor will do, she will um, contact the advisor okay. at the other campus, yes. and then you go to that advisor, and they will take it off the fee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you don't you don't pay like um, insurance. And you don't pay twice. Twice. No, yeah. You don't pay twice. So you're only paying for the class itself. That's right. Good. Yeah. So. But I want to. If you guys are out there listening, either current students or future students. It's great that we have so many options, three different campuses. Mm -hmm. But if you do, talk, yeah. make sure you're talking to your advisor. Make, make sure, sure you're it keeping in touch with your advisor. All right. <laughs> make, have them guide you. Yeah, the finance thing is a little bit yeah. weird sometimes. But, yeah. but it works. I've yeah. not, there's been a number of students that do that. Yeah. Ah, that's really cool. Oh, you know what that sound means? It's trivia time. Look at the excitement on her face. <laughs> She's so excited about this part of it. Okay, well, we've got some really great questions for you here. Let's start with some really easy ones. There'll be five questions. 
the first question is, what is the largest city in the state of Washington? In the state of Washington, the largest city. Yeah, the largest city in the state of Washington. I know, I guess Seattle. This is Seattle. Yes, it's Seattle. <laughs> okay, great. Good, good guess. Very good. All right. <laughs> See, I told you it'd be so easy. All right. At the Max Center, true or false, there is a swimming pool that you can use three times a week. That is false. Why? There was a swimming pool. There was a, <laughs> there swimming, was pool. a swimming pool, but it's now been filled in. That's right. So they're hoping in the future to change it into a game room. Yes. That's it's kind of sad. I know. Mm. Can't you guys just like I dig it up again? Apparently and... was too much upkeep. Oh, probably. Yeah. So. yeah. Do you know where, okay, this will be your third question then. Okay. Where is the nearest pool that students could use? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know I either. Only know so. in, I only know the one in Shoreline. Right. So. I've heard that <laughs> Seattle University, which oh, is up the pool? street, they have a pool. But I don't know if our students are allowed to use it or okay. not. So I don't know. I don't know. If, you're, if you love swimming, you may have to do a little research yeah. when you come. All right. Very good. Uh, next question is, how many quarters do we offer each year here at the colleges? Um, there's three, but you can take the summer. You right. can also take the summer. So it would be four quarters if you want to like speed up. <laughs> your program yeah, you yeah. can take a summer quarter as well oh nice yeah you must be liking that huh i am <laughs> I I take a break <laughs> yeah I enjoy the weather <laughs> yes it, oh, i love this weather <laughs> right i love this weather yeah this is more like belize this right? is more like belize uh, yeah. that's really good um okay very good let's uh i don't know how many questions that is but let's just go to the last question what was the last movie that you saw a little mermaid <laughs> Really? <laughs> the did. cartoon? I went to the movies, the, the new one that came out. Oh, the more live action yeah, one. Yeah. Live well, how action. was it? It was great. Yeah. yeah. I took my granddaughter. Well, nice. Yeah, she enjoyed it. Yeah. Granddaughter, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a grandson. Yeah, how old's your granddaughter? She's six. Oh, mine's... Oh, my. Really? Mine's seven. <laughs> seven. Did you he pause just had, there? He just had a birthday, though, so I'm like, is he eight now? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Mason, if you're listening. But yeah. I was at his birthday party. As you'd think I'd remember, but yeah. yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I I like taking um, my kids to movies uh, whenever I can, but sometimes I'll pick movies and I'll be like, what are we watching? <laughs> and they think it's ridiculous, and then they always leave. They're like, that was the greatest movie, Dad. Yeah. I think it was a bit too long for her, though. Oh, really? Yeah, because at one point towards the end, she's like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Enough but with it, the mermaids. But it, but it was good. It was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I always give a chance for you to offer your wisdom and your, especially uh, since you've been here a year, you know, you're a veteran now. So like, what advice would you give someone from Belize that's Belize. thinking about coming to, I mean, we, we would like to encourage more students from Belize because <laughs> That offers a whole different kind of perspective. That would be great. I mean, it would be awesome if we can have students coming over here. But um, I think they just need to be open-minded and not be fearful mm. of making the, the change. You mm -hmm. know? It's, you're coming into a completely different lifestyle because in Belize, it's so laid back. Sure. And, and it's, the here, here, it's the Caribbean, man. It's the Caribbean. And then here, you know, it's not laid back. And you need to come focused with a goal. Mm -hmm. And know that when you get here, what you had in mind might not happen right away. You know, but don't give up. Just continue working towards it. But for students, um, it, you know, it would be a, a change of scene, a change of pace, because the classrooms, they are different. Mm, you know, that's true. The way of teaching is different. You know, so I think it would be a great experience. Do you, do you like the style of teaching here better, or do, do you prefer the home? No, okay. I do. I, I think at home, this it, the teaching is good, but it's more traditional and like more... It's British system, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's more the British, mm -hmm. because we were once a British colony, sure. so... 
Yeah, so I like this style of teaching here. And like I told you, I've had awesome lectures. That's great. So, yeah. yeah, I worked for the Brit I worked for three different British schools when I was in China and so I got to familiar yeah, with that style. Structure. I kind of prefer the American yeah. style. So yeah. yeah. Interesting. Well, gosh, been great to visit. Every time I visit with you on the bus or here, it's always, <laughs> always so fun to visit with you. Thanks Thank for your you. time. Appreciate Thank you it. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, well, I hope to see you again soon. Yes. Right. Same. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Conversations With is painstakingly crafted for you by the Seattle College's International Programs Department and supported by the lovely folks here on our campus. This show is produced and edited by me, Evan Frenolovich. We welcome your emails and questions about coming to Seattle Colleges. Please reach out to us via our website or just give us a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts as this helps others discover the show. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or YouTube at Seattle Colleges INTL. That's Seattle Colleges INTL. And be sure to check out all of the shows here on Conversations With. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.